Every swing is symbolic for Joao Cunha. What goes through my mind, what comes out of me, it's like something that I can't explain because I've went through so many stuff in my life. When I started playing volleyball to like the point that I'm at right now, and it's been so many fights, so many, ooh, it's been so many things that I had to went through that every kill is just like a, like a reward for all the hard work. The six foot eight outside hitter is near the top of the conference with the team leading 116 kills. Volleyball is what he lives for, so when he gets a kill, he likes to show. And what you see when he gets a kill is you show how important the sport is to him and what it means to him to succeed. And he shows everything he has every time he goes out there. Born and raised in Brazil, Cunha and his family became battle-tested. His father served in the military and was heavily involved in the combat sport of Muay Thai. We grew up with that kind of instructions at home, with like go to bed, like a good time, and. He tried like, to kind of raise us that way, but yeah, he's a, he's a tough dude. <laughs> Cunha is the middle sibling between two sisters. His focus being driven solely towards volleyball started at the age of 15. My older sister, she, she used to play volleyball and she started playing volleyball before me and then I would go with my dad and my grandpa to watch her play and that motivated me to start playing and start playing with the same coach as her. He took his talents to Canada and played in the Alberta College ranks with the Keanu Huskies, becoming the league's Rookie of the Year. As a Bobcat, Cunha has taken on tough odds and tougher foes, the biggest being his own mental health. The passion and fire he brings, sometimes it works for people and sometimes it doesn't and he's kind of, he's in the process of learning how to best help the team with his emotions because he can bring the fire every single day, so that's about how he can bring that at certain times to help the team. Cunha has tried to embrace the emotional hits, and despite being knocked down, he's got up. You're always fighting against like that pressure in your mind and, and, and your mental stuff, and it's rewarding when you're able to fight and win. Mm. Okay.